That's the worst feeling, knowing that you may have had something to do with your child's death. And even though it came back to it, I still believe in my heart that it was my fault. And there's nothing anyone can do about that. Jackie Hawks is recovering from a loss no new mother should ever have to deal with. Her 28-day-old baby died in her arms when she fell asleep breastfeeding. And though doctors confirm he died of SIDS, she still feels responsible. I, for four months, blamed myself until the autopsy came back because I was so sure I suffocated him. Experts say it's normal for mothers like Jackie to experience feelings of guilt, but today she's using her story to help others, taking part in a training course hosted by Safe Kids Washoe County called Cribs for Kids as an advocate for safe sleeping practices. When I found out about this program, I'm totally for it. I've done everything I can to promote it. Organizers preach the back to sleep message, meaning the baby should always be placed on its back and under no circumstances should there be anything else in the crib other than the baby. I think we forget that babies aren't little adults. <laughs> They're not just a pint-sized adult. And they don't need big fluffy pillows. They don't need lots of blankets. The same measures taken to safely put a baby to sleep are also measures recognized to reduce instances of SIDS. Partner agency representatives like Elsa Sanchez from WIC attended the training so she can take back the information to her low-income clients who may not be able to afford proper bedding. We have moms that they'll put the babies on the couch, um, we even had a mom that was having a baby, her baby sleep on a drawer because there wasn't anywhere else for the baby to sleep in. The program provides new parents with survival kits, which include a pack-and-play crib, a one-piece pacifier, and a sleep sack, along with other education materials that help cut back on instances so that more parents don't have to suffer the way Jackie does. A lot of parents say, oh, I feel closer to my baby sleeping with my baby. I felt very close sleeping to my baby, but my baby didn't wake up. And I don't want that to be the experience that other people have. Reporting in Reno, Shannon Moore, Fox 11 News.